my name is Will Doctor. I'll be hosting our conversation today, thanks to our good friends at Insperity. And you know, first off, I got to tell you, you're the greatest to ever do it. I grew up with the the Rocket Man TPX glove, and I watched every single one of your starts as an Astro, beginning with that one hitter that you tossed against the Giants on an early April night in 2004. So before we get started, I just got to tell you, it, it was an honor to witness your greatness. And I'm looking forward to talking you, with you today about uh, you know, your illustrious career and some of the other great things that you have going on today. I appreciate it, Will. You make me feel old now, all that going back, and this is your life. <laughs> Roger, one of my favorite quotes uh, from you actually originated from, from your mom and grandmother. And, and the saying goes, there will never be grass growing underneath my feet. What, what do those words mean to you? Yeah, that's exactly right. I think it was, you know, it, it, um, you know, my pops passed away when I was nine and I was raised by my mother and grandmother. So and uh, I watched these two ladies work uh, their tails off to make a better living for somebody like myself and my brothers and sisters. So um uh, I feel the same way. I'm, I stay on the move quite a bit when I can. Um, I try and share myself as much as I can without getting too, you know, getting too thin or too uh, wore out. Well, well, let's get into your passion for golf because you played professional baseball uh, for 30 years at the highest level. And with baseball comes eight guys around you who are ready to do anything to help you. You've now transitioned to golf where uh, you know, you make a mistake and there's no one out there to help you. Uh, you go from the, the ultimate team sport to maybe the most singular sport on the planet. What is it about golf that you really enjoy? Well, I, I love being outdoors. Um, I love meeting, uh, you know, new guys that, that we play with. Um, it's, it's every day seems to be a different day with your swing for me. Anyway, I need to, I do need to practice more. I get out there and grind it out and we have, about four um, really cool celebrity events throughout the summer. Obviously, the biggest one is in Tahoe with, on NBC. And, um, uh, you know, that's, that's a, it's a really fun tournament. And it's, it's, it's interesting because it kind of gives you that um, – it fills that void that you're not competing on the mound when you're out there competing and everything counts. Every swing you take counts. Every putt you, you hit counts um, towards a score. And – as far as golf goes, uh, specifically, I think one of the famous lines I heard, if I have it right, uh, I think Arnold Palmer and Ted Williams were talking about the hitting aspect and the golfing aspect way back when at one point. And uh, Arnie looked at him and said, yeah, I have to hit my foul balls, though. You don't. <laughs> and uh, so uh, that's what the way I feel sometimes. I have to go over there in the rough and uh, hit, hit some really uh, uh, try and get out of trouble. And, and hit some shots back into play. So in, in golf, you have to hit your foul balls. And, and you actually uh, helped build a golf course in Scotland that now hosts a PGA Tour event the week before the Open Championship. Tell me about how that happened. Yeah, so, you know, Paul Savardi, the, the CEO right there of Insperity, Paul's, I mean, they've been great. Um, talk about a great team. Um, all, all the guys that are over there, uh, Steve, uh, Arispe and, and and what they were doing in our community here, what Insperity does in our community, you know, it was really special. Paul came along and, and talked to Deb and I about um, his passion for the game of golf. And uh, I believe his dad's passion for the, day, the game of golf before um, he passed. And Paul and his brothers were all talking about it. Uh, Jerry's actually over there at Renaissance in Scotland. My wife went a number of years. I had a, a deal with, uh, uh, Continental Airlines that obviously united now. And there was a group of about 25 that went to Scotland to play. And Deb said, Hey, you're going to love this. And I was like, man, I'm not sure that, I, you know, I'm going to like going that far just to play some golf. And, uh, man, I went over to Scotland and, and played a couple rounds and I was, I was hooked. And, uh, the people over there are wonderful. Uh, they obviously love the game of golf. Paul found a wonderful piece of property way back when, uh, right next to Muirfield. And let me tell you what, they put their heart and soul into this place and now having the Scottish Open and you'll you'll see it in I think it's July on TV, uh, on national TV here back home. And when I see it, uh, it, it even looks more beautiful uh, uh, when you see it on TV. But uh, you got to go over and experience it to, uh, uh, to to really get the feel and, and everything for it. 
Of course, I love it because I love to putt anytime I can. And, and over in Scotland, you can putt from 40 yards off the green, which the I Texas love. Texas wedge. <laughs> yeah, I, a Texas wedge. It's a four degree wedge. I keep telling people that. That's the way you got to think of it. And you try and beat them at their own game. So um, it's, it's just a great course. The people are great. Paul and, and his crew, Jerry over there, they, I mean, they've just done a great job. And, and again, passionate about it. You can, you can feel the family uh, feel of everything over there when you see everybody and, and old friends and new friends and, uh, you know, being part of the Insperity family. That's the way I feel when I go out to the headquarters to do something or uh, there in Kingwood. Um, they just, they just do a great job. They, they have, they have great people in great positions and creative people. And when they, they have a vision uh, to do something, they follow it through and get it done. And uh, that's no different. You know, I can relate that to the game that I play. I mean, I'm out there on center stage, 55,000 people, the lights are on you, but uh, I can't shine unless, um, you know, I've got my team around me and they're paying attention to detail and they're all in. And, uh, you know, what more can I say what the Insperity does for our communities and our, especially our community here at home. Well, Roger, I really appreciate you taking some time to talk to me today. I know our friends at Insperity appreciate it as well. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments and, uh, and thank you again. Appreciate it, Will. Thanks for having me on.